Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been creating web pages since uh, before I even saw what a web page looked like on a graphical browser. Uh, my first home page was, uh, you know, viewed in links. It was optimized for links, this text based browser, which you can still get, by the way. They're still actively developing links, believe it or not. And uh, I could create real links. Now, links, the web browser is L-Y-N-X, links to something else that's L-I-N-X, oh, I'm sorry, L-I-N-K-S. Oh, okay, enough of the spelling lesson today. Either way, I, I was having fun in, in creating uh, this page, and I learned HTML tags. It was pretty simple, and, uh, you know, was able to create web pages. A lot of people were able to create web pages back in the day when the term webmaster actually meant something. Uh, not so much anymore, though. When you say you're a webmaster, it kind of dates you and you're probably not getting many dates either. But now, if you're gonna be a web developer, it sounds like a more professional term, you have to be able to understand and troubleshoot HTML, the basics, as well as advanced scripting, like uh, by way of uh, JavaScript. Did I say JavaScript? <laughs> I think I did. I meant JavaScript. If anybody's mastered JavaScript, that'd be awesome. Someone should make a, a JavaScript library called JavaScript and just make it Star Wars calls and everything like that. You can Star Wars up your page by including CSS. That's another thing you have to... So there's all of this, uh, you know, stuff, for the lack of a better word, uh, that you have to figure out how to navigate through. And there are tools that can help you. And granted, most web developers have one web browser they love. It's typically not Internet Explorer. But uh, if you have Firefox, and you may love Firefox, it's fine. But even if you don't love Firefox, I think you'll love the 10 extensions that we've surfaced. Uh, and they're actually quite nice. Uh, if you are a, a web developer, uh, and just, again, I'm very grateful that Creighton Miller, uh, someone who's in college right now, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if he's, as I'm doing this video in college, uh, there's a, a, an extension called Web Developer. It's kind of an obvious name. Measure it if you're not already using it. Firebug, naturally. CSS Usage, there's a good one for you. Colorzilla, HTML Validator, and PageSpeed. In the list, there's a, a few more on there, including IE Tab 2, for those of you who still have to. And I think web developers do have to look at Internet Explorer. Will Internet Explorer 6 just die already? <sighs> so, uh, Page speed. This is something that I wanted to talk about specifically because so many people don't think about that. You put together a web page with a billion elements, but that could weigh the page load down. And you could be losing visitors. The, 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 Amazon's done studies. Amazon.com. As crappy as Amazon.com is designed, it's designed that way for, no, well, not designed crappily for a reason, but they optimize it. If their page is microseconds slower, they lose sales. It's been proven. Page speed is so important. And if you're not looking at page speed as a web developer, you, I mean, you can master CSS and DHTML. And does, does anybody still use DHTML? Maybe, maybe that dates me a bit. Uh, HTML5, you know, all the latest buzzwords. Uh, think about speed. Optimize for speed. Uh, there's another uh, great tool that someone's thrown in there, Grease Monkey. Although Grease Monkey is... You can use Grease Monkey scripts in Chrome easily. Uh, Grease Monkey's good for page level analysis or changing uh, something that may be happening on one particular web page. I think these extensions are really uh, full featured, packed, and being actively developed. Some Grease Monkey scripts are as well. Te check that out if you hadn't heard of that uh, resource uh, before. Um, there are a few uh, of these um, extensions that work well for. Uh, helping you make a better web page or website, you know, either one. Uh, and, and that's kind of any more synonymous with like a blog, you know, changing the template, ad adjusting the template. But I would say above all else, yeah, master the CSS and the layout and all that, make it look good. But think about speed. I think speed is probably the most important thing that you could keep in mind uh, as a developer. If it doesn't load fast, I think people are just going to, they're going to leave. They're going to they're gonna fly away. So uh, there you go, uh, a, a few helpful resources for you to try if you are in web development. Maybe you have another favorite that Creighton didn't list. Feel free to let us know.